I'm excited to see if they can repeat. And now the second match is underway. And right away, you can see some players sprinting out. Some opting to take some hunting rifle shots as Lachlan grabs that Infinity Blade and goes straight up. And you can see you can actually make it to the top if you hit the vent, jump, and then jump again. Two jumps right away. Fish fam and chicken, uh, chicken contenders. But uh, God. Awful. Chicken, chicken champions. Chicken Apologies. Tenders, chicken. What? Are you trying the to eat some tender defender, Let's chicken go. tenders. I know. My fault. <laughs> All right, here we are. So this time around, the Sunshine Soldiers actually managed to get some points off the bat. Very good for them. But Little Whip Warriors, same thing we saw before. How to take you know, a little bit of, of the first big step here. I mean, and Ninja, it knows those jumps. He's able to get around incredibly efficient up to the top right away. But the early tack fights coming out to way able to ruin that one there. But then Tyler trades it right back out. And what really is important here is about establishing control. This is what you need to do here. Six, six eliminations already coming out from them. Taldak with one, Kaz on four, and then two for Ninja with the Infinity Blade as Taldak is immediately spraying down shots, making it just a little bit more difficult. But boom, there come the hunting rifle shots, and Taldak is taking shots as well. Out of builds and needs to back up and use his team there, and Gotaga goes straight up. Oh, they need some builds for their backside because they are getting sniped straight out of that spawn point there. It's Raven's Revenge, who they're just kind of gatekeeping at the moment, right? Look at Chappie's like, dude, I can't even go up right now because the team is up there. It was a good challenge and he did some damage, but Ninja was all over it. Now already up to four Elans, opening up a 60 point lead, but have to keep an eye on the other parts of the map as the Chicken Champions are doing their best to hold the top, but get pushed out. Kaz finally gets taken down, but five Elans on his first life there as Ninja challenges Magma. Will he be able to clean that one up? Yes, and he, he does. does. But Chappie's on the other side. Slam goes down right away, but now we're over on board with your match one winners, the Llama Record Co. And they're already slaying out as well. 12 Elans for them, but zero on Hand of Blood, which is actually efficient. Assuming he doesn't need the health, will have the sword regen going through, but he can't use the builds, right? So yeah, other he, people need him. He can't build. He also can't get hit right now, so he needs to be careful because he is one shot away from getting taken out here. But someone dies right on up. He has to put that pressure down, and it's the chicken champion to make a quick end of him. And it's their turn to start accruing points, but no. When other players are getting the siphon off, if they're the ones trading out the shots, they can quickly change HP. And those are long animations. But look at the challenge. The three different teams going up, and now it's just the Fish Fam and the Cutter Crew. Lachlan doing everything he can. Zan goes down, but tries to create a little bit of space. Eats the headshot from Suzuhu and disengages. Cutter Crew finally getting a couple points here. It's been pretty rough for them so far on this map here. You can see this struggle just a bit. The story has definitely been. Ninja's supreme dominant so far. He's doing pretty good right here. And even with no health, says, you know what? I'm not going to give away three points. Might as well go for it. He was so close. Yeah, you can see him calling out the whites there on the sword, knowing they only need a couple more shots to get it as we switch back on over to the Cuddle Crew, who've established himself there, but are still struggling to kind of get the points. The first time, we're really seeing them all together, but Clytex immediately gets ripped from the spawn. Couple of eliminations. You can see X Sandy here. 16 Elim, so definitely has some Slayers there. Yo, I, they need to figure out their game plan because they're getting Elims and putting things together. They have solid numbers. They're just mm -hmm. not getting the right hill time. Maybe it's go somewhere else. You don't always have to go to the point that's directly in front of you. Go contest someone or maybe just go mess with somebody at their spawn. Delay them so they don't rotate towards you. Like a number of times, as you said before, you can see where people are spawning. If you want to go deny a team, you can send somebody to deny them. Just know that player is coming back over and over and over with likely more resources than you. Every single time. And look at this. The Little Whip Warriors approaching that 400 point mark. And in just one minute, that new point capture D will be unlocked in the center of the map. And while they have a solid lead right now, just under 150 points, that disappears in the blink of an eye. That's about 15 seconds uncontested in that middle hill. That's just how valuable it is. But we saw the shift in gameplay that happened. Everybody tunneled it right away, and then the uh, Fish Fan were able to get back up. But after that, kind of cycled it back in, and the center point became the focus and where the win was taken. And right now, Llama Record Co., you said they were struggling at the start. They're doing fine right now in second place, Monster. They're, they're definitely creeping their way. And, and on the other side, you're blocked off as Ninja then just drops down Stuart 0 and he gets picked up with the alley from Gotaga as Gotaga comes up with Magma. One, two, three. Ravens out of nowhere, but the Little Whip Warriors don't care. They're cutting down in three, 
two, one. You can already see MSYB is down there. Alex JJ down there. Carnifex down there. Oh. They're trying to set up control right away. Lava record go, but the impulses are raining from everywhere. Hand of Blood really tried to get in there early too, as did every other captain, but it was to no surprise, not effective. And you can see that the Chicken Champions are committing to the three points right now. Little Whip Warriors as well, while contention is happening down in the bottom. Nope. Yep. They are slowly just battling for this number one. Chicken Champions kind of overtake it now as well. The Fish Fam, not too far either. Everyone's so close here in the top four. Don't forget. You take a victory, you win 55,000 bonus in prize. And right now, Suzu is going off. 21 eliminations, and right as I say that, apologies for the castle, Chris, but 21 eliminations from the Belgian. He loves practicing his, practicing his builds and creative, and is showing it off here with really clever defensive cone edits up there. But right now, Little Whip Warriors are going at it. Tomoya gets the better ninja, and he gets cut down. But Funky Fresh Riders then get sent all over the place thanks to the impulses from above. I love this strat. He kind of sends out for a second there just to kind of catch a breather see if his teammates come back but unfortunately the timing was just a bit off and the llama record company now control the middle point for how long we will find out here as this is their comeback story because they need these points desperately here hand of blood still alive just long enough to get a couple of more points but scissors is playing the long game here just eating away at the threshold here at the top so Suzu isn't grouped with them. I'm assuming they've sent him to just go either watch middle and be their middle control. No, he just came up the backside. There you go. And just like go flying at people as the Kudoku come up in a very well coordinated pinch. Three from the side and Scissors gets taken down. But the funky fresh. Oh no. No, no! they got one stopped. Point. <laughs> well, one point. Yo, so if you are the fish fam or little whip right now, you have to send somebody to stop them. If that infinity blade wielder gets out of spawn and goes anywhere for one second, they will win. Somebody has to deny him. It is all on Tomoya. Anywhere he goes, it doesn't have to be the one near him. If he touches the middle, a singular uncontested second will be the victory for them. These are the final moments here, Sundown. Look at him. He's got a slight grin on his face. He wants to do it. Is this the point that he's going to make it? Here it goes. He takes the stake. He does miss. He's going back for it now. His team's up there. All he has to do Don't is sweat just a couple of times. Can he win this straight? And he does not. And as you watch, check the points on the right-hand side. Nobody is climbing up by the 12s. And as and I did it, Lama Record Go gets the control there. But Little Whip contesting them right back. Funky Fresh Tomoya will be back and looking to find it. But the contestant is going for the middle. Here's Tomoya. He knows just a second in there. A contestant will oh, be ninja. enough. Can he get it? Oh, no, he, he doesn't. He has knocked out. out the impulse grenade at the second he landed. Knocks everyone out. No one's in there. Can he find it? And he does. That's it. His feet touch the ground. The impulse about to be over. And here we go. All right, got to love those players just kind of beelining out. And don't forget, you know exactly who your neighbors are. You know who is to your left and to your right because you can see the banners and the designs on their spawns. You know, the problem is then, the Little Whip Warriors have been so consistent, you literally allowed them to snipe the competition because you over-focused. So I think the play here is play your game, and if anything, stay away from them. Let the rest of the server do that, you know, gritty work for you and dominate the other side, take that victory. There you go. I like to hear it, Monster. That's fantastic analysis. That's why we keep you around. The breakdown and making sure you challenge the initial opinion there as the Ravens Revenge are able to get on the top. Here it is. He just kind of goes toe-to-toe -to -toe and Ninja strikes him right down. Oh, but hey, his teammate comes on in. Ravens Revenge, who is that? Uh, Magma comes right up to the top. And give you guys a little fun fact about Magma. He's from Australia. He started playing in Fortnite Season 2. His favorite aspect of Freedom Mode is actually speedrunning always finds uh, new ways to kind of play the game. I mean, good on him, man. I get incredibly frustrated by that, but then watching these guys do the speed runs and how quickly they go through and how efficiently, it just reminds me why we're up here talking about it and watching them do this creative Absolutely. madness as Scissors cuts through the competition, goes straight up to delay and right back down. Cuddle Crew not quite able to get him. And he goes up again, so right now just denying the Cuddle Crew the points. But we talked about how we want to see more from them right now pushing into the top three. Rubius. Doing so good right now. He's from Spain. He actually has a record 
on, was it, YouTube for live streaming? 1.1 million viewers, imagine. Yes, one of the biggest content creators in Spain. Will they be able to push down towards the middle? As you can see, Little Whip and Lava Record Company already down there. We've seen this story before as the Funky Fresh Fighters go in, but you can barely even hear the shots over the impulse grenades going off as everyone's like, no, 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 we've seen how this goes. The Funky Fighters need this. The Llama Record Company need this. So many of these guys, it's riding on this game right here. They have to get as many points as possible. But even with the 12 point one, we haven't seen a lead like this from Gotaga Inc. Group. They are nearly 300 points clear of the next team. Nobody else is contesting there. The Cuddle Crew has now been able to catch up a little bit, but they both just established control. But Funky Fighters, clearly in last place, is not good. And now, right now, you can see Tomoya coming in, doing everything he can to knock it down. Carnifex challenging as best he can, and Lachlan is just hanging out inside the cone. Lachlan's doing a great job here. He's just kind of hiding, loving the low profile, kind of position and take here on the point. He was hidden, but hey, he has to come out now and defend themselves. There's three chickens who surround him and take down that Cuddle Bear. Oh, man. They're supposed to be the tender that? defenders, but that was a whole bunch of aggression coming out from them there as they now immediately look and start to take shots. And the Ravens Revenge have now finally been unseated from their three-point game. So a little bit of room to start for the catch-up, but it is utter chaos at point D as Tomoya gets taken down and the Funky Fighters are still in eighth place. There's still 55,000 minimal on this game alone here. You want to win this one. Ravens Revenge, can they hold it? Or will Cuddle Crew find themselves a big piece of the pie here? Because we're in New York City, you know, you got to make pizza references. That's how we're doing it. Here comes Gotaga kind of hopping on overhead. And all right, he wants more points. He's hungry for it. Uh, it's unfortunate they're just clipping off the side as Magma goes down, sitting on 23 eliminations right now. And Kodaga doing his best to find where they want to go up, waiting for his team, but knowing that time is running short since that middle hill is still open and being constantly contested. But the Cuddle Bear catching up with their steady three-point game. But now Kodaga goes up right around the back, able to pick up the Elim, and control is resting. This is scary because the Cuddle Crew is also getting points right now. So yes, they're getting a lead, but the Cuddle Crew is keeping up, keeping it very close. They're keeping it very close. And this is what we were talking about. We wanted to see a strategy come out, something defensive where you can get your control. They have now walled them off on each side, thrown a cone on top of them, and they have firing angles towards the other two platforms and towards the spawns behind them. Nobody wants to go contest them, but right now, go Taga. Oh, we saw what happened when Scissors did that. Don't count your chickens before they hatch because they're catching up right now. You can see that 12 points ticking over, but they do still have a lead as players are trying their best to deny Raven's revenge. Yes, you have to keep him safe. This is the protect the president strat at its finest. Cuddle Crew still getting points. Llama Record still getting points. In comes the fire from all the other platforms. Cuddle Crew's putting on pressure. They don't want to give him the freebie here. You have to look at Raven's Revenge, though. Everybody is so focused on the middle. Nobody is going and challenging the top team. You know they're over there. You know they're uncontested right now. You have to be putting shots down there. You have to find the tags under Gotaga. There it is. And they got him. They got him the difference now. Look at the Kuroku climbing up on their consistent three. But they still have control of the top. They just don't have their sword. It's two hops to get up there. That's right. And now Lachlan can just sit here. He can just hang out, earn these points. This is what he needs to do. And it's he's almost there. He is almost there. The first place can be his. Right now, he can take this lead, Sundown. But they got control at the same time. It's literally ticking over oh. a half second away Yo. from each other. The shots are going. Cuddle Crew has the lead, though. Will the shot be able to go to? Yes, Cuddle Crew can take it down. 999, oh. 1000. Gotaga and Raven's Revenge in the closest nail biter yet. P sessions, that's actually crazy. And here's the team standing, Sundown. Yeah, look at the final team standing. So Llama Record Co. do just get edged out by $1,500 there. The Funky Fighters, you can see on the right-hand side, have been awarded that silver. Llama, rounding it out, you have Raven's Revenge in the top three. Cuddle Crew and Little Whip Warriors, both at 55, sitting in fourth and fifth. Fish Fam, Sunshine, Soldiers, I almost got that one, sixth and seventh, and then eighth there are the Chicken Champions. But this is set one of four. There's yes. still tons of creative games.